Training camp come. I'm like, man, I ain't doing this shit no more, boy. I'm finna be on the field, third down. Yeah. I don't care about that first, second down. That ain't my, <laughs> yo, I'm a third down guy. Like, nah. Been locking up tight end. Been, been killing that. Yo, like, nah, we not doing this. Not doing this, bro. And I said, you know what? I'm finna just go out here and fuck up everybody in practice. All right, we back for another episode of Art of Interception. You know, I keep them special guests rolling, man. You know what I mean? Buffalo, Philly, you know, Florida. You've been all the way around. Say what's up, Nigel, man. What's good, family? <laughs> you know it's everything. Um, love to be here. Appreciate you having me on the show. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. the opportunity. It's going to be a great one. Yeah, man. We just here and chop it up, you know what I mean? My first time getting to meet the bro, man. We hit, we heard a lot of good things about each other, being that uh, you know, we mo- know a couple mutual people in, in common, and um, he played for Philly, the way I did. So, uh, and we 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 live close by, but he sold his house when I was moving in, and I was building when he was moving in. <laughs> we didn't get the vibe. But we, <laughs> We're good we miss, we miss opportunities, but we we here now. Yeah, yeah, you know we here now. That's how we reconnect. Yeah, that's how it go. So, um, starting off, man, get to know you a little bit. So, uh, what where are you exactly from? Like, what is it called? <laughs> what how, talk to us about that? What, yeah, so it's originally it's called Wakulla County. Wakulla. Um, that's where I'm from. Yeah, the town is called Crawfordville. Crawfordville. Yeah, so yeah. it's a small town in Florida. It's funny, man. Everybody be like, man, where that's at, man? Right. You know what I'm saying? The closest I can tell you, Tallahassee, man. Right. Okay. We, so, hey. so it's closer to Tallahassee than Tampa? Yeah, definitely. Okay. We, we, uh, we was looking at it on the map, and it was like, man, it's just like right in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We like 30, 30 minutes, 45 minutes south of Tallahassee. So oh, okay. We right on the Gulf Coast, you know what I'm saying? It's a great area. Yeah. Small town, one high school type town. Oh, small one high school. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, actually, I'm the only person actually to get drafted from the from the high school, mm-hmm. and um, actually make it out of that, bro. It's actually kind of crazy right now yeah. that it's like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we got some stars. Yeah, for real. Blessing, but you know, man. we got people that you know. It's a tough little town. You know what I'm saying? You face a lot of adversity. Right. Because it right. ain't nothing enough for real. Right. So, so he telling y'all, man, why color? They got talent, man. Don't don't overlook why color. Sleep on Florida this. period, man. Y'all know, y'all know how we rock, man. So uh, you know, uh that he's from Wakulla, Florida, you know what I mean? Born and raised, and um that's the name of the high school, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Wakulla. What you say? What you say the population like? What you say how many people? Yeah, about under, under ten thousand? Definitely. Definitely under ten. Definitely. I mean, it's been growing now. Uh, a lot of people been migrating south from Tallahassee and just driving to go to work, I guess. Okay. But um, and it's a it's a it's a low economy town, so it's a lot less expensive. Right. So economic you wise, you know, as far as cost of living and everything. So. So pull up there and live good. Yeah, <laughs> and you got the water. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the same type of water like down here. You know, it's that that golf. The yeah. real golf water, so yeah. that's what you're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Salt water, mm-hmm. and we got a couple of rivers and stuff, and springs and stuff like that. Like that's what we was known for in our, our hometown, Wakulla Springs. People mm-hmm. go there for that. It's like a little spot. But other than that, it wasn't much, man. And <laughs> we had to we had to get it how we live out there. So I just had to get my mind frame as as a youth. You know what I'm saying? I had people down here, so I came down here a lot. My grandma, actually, she used to live in Pork and Bean Projects. What? Yeah. Oh, so you had a connection down here? Yeah, my all my family. My mom from down here, actually. Oh, word. Yeah, so she moved up. So my granddaddy lived up that way. She got, they, she went to Northwest, <laughs> all that. Yeah. Oh, you connected? I'm solid. Yeah, yeah. You solid. all the way, through and through. <laughs> Through and through, like okay. all the way. So that was my next question. I was leading to. I was like, man, going up. What well, color, Florida? You know, it's still Florida. Um, what influenced you? Who motivated you? How did you get into sports in such a small town? You know, like say one high school and stuff like that. Florida State, bro. Um, really, just that was the only big thing that was around. So for me, seeing them on TV every week, every Saturday. Tuning into them games, and I'm watching in the '90s, so I'm seeing like Derrick Brooks, mm-hmm. Charlie Ward, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So that's who I'm seeing. That's them my role models at that time. So I'm like, dang man, mm-hmm. I can go out here and do this. And at the time, 
I was playing, but I was I I wasn't really serious with it. I was just having fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? As we should at first, right? Right. <laughs> right. But then I started seeing that and I started setting goals. Mm -hmm. I said that. I'm like, dang boy, I'm gonna go to Florida State. Mm -hmm. Start telling everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm like seven years old. Yeah. They like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They like <laughs> Go to Florida State, then I'm like, I'm just do more than that, though. I'm gonna go to lead too. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? At so a young age. At a young age. Mm -hmm. Telling my mama this, I'm gonna change your life, do all that. Right, right. Done it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like I gotta feel good, boy. It felt great. Yeah, yeah. Feel great, man. Yeah. Feel great. Just to, you know what I'm saying, wake up mm -hmm. and, and know what you accomplished mm -hmm. and knowing what you can do just by setting goals, mm -hmm. sticking to your plan, writing it down. And don't and don't don't get off the script, man. Your mind is powerful. You stick to it. Huh? You stick to it. So who so who was uh taking you to practice and uh you know <laughs> responsible for like uh hey man you going to practice we're gonna take you to practice we're gonna get you your cliques we're gonna yeah you know what I mean so mm -hmm. I had different people man because my mom was working so she she had to work like two jobs at the time so we hardly see her you know what I'm saying I go get on the bus she mm -hmm. go to work in the mornings. And then she go work right after, she get out that five, mm -hmm. she go on her night job, you know what I'm oh. saying? It start at six, okay. you get what I'm saying? So yeah. she stayed up there in Tallahassee and just worked through the night. So my brother, he eight years older than me, mm -hmm. but at the time he wasn't driving, so I had to get my coaches and stuff to take me to practice and mm -hmm. stuff like that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But he'll ride with me, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I'm comfortable and stuff like that. So. Just, you know what I'm saying, we had to go that route. You it know took what a village. Saying? It took a village. It took yeah, a whole everybody. village. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had some good, solid people around me as a youth. Right. Um, they mm -hmm. saw my potential probably, mm -hmm. but that ain't a fact though. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never asked me for anything. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And they just they just literally did that out of love and just knowing my situation. I think that's the difference too, man, growing up in, as we say, those little country towns instead of growing up in the in the, the bigger cities, man, you, you know, people see more they want more whereas you know you get to grow up with genuine love and more people that just want to just genuinely see you make it for nothing you know what i mean yeah. when you, you grow up in those bigger cities everybody's like all right i helped you make it you know what is that what is that you know what i mean so you know big up to you not having to go through that as much i'm sure you went through it you know we all yeah. go through it but uh yeah so um so you go to white color right and um you get the scholarship you go to uh, you're a five-star recruit. Yeah. Right then. Yeah. So I really you, had the opportunity to go everywhere. Right? Yeah. So yeah. I was like, you say, I got, <laughs> so you just, in your mind, you was like, I'm going to Florida State. Because that was like me, too. Like, my, my, big, my biggest dream was to go to my high school, Boyd Anderson. Yeah. I, I couldn't even think past that at first. I used to skip my middle school every day, drive my bike, go up to the practice, and just dream of just, just being around there. I wanted to be out there. So, you know, so you make it to... Uh, you make it to Florida State, right? You was a headhunter at Florida State, ain't <laughs> yeah. I? I saw yeah. you. I saw you yeah. as a headhunter. So, I'm, how was that like, man? What was it like your experience? I mean, who you? Who, so, who did you play with at Florida State? I played with some of everybody for real. Y'all won a championship at Florida State? Nah, I missed. I missed the way. That was when they had James. I had just left. Okay. Left okay. Like 2011. So Actually. name a few people and get into it. But I'm gonna start before that because you had mentioned high school. Okay. So I'm gonna even go like to how I got there. Yeah. Well, you know how I got there because I said it early, but I still took them visits, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, as mm -hmm. I was supposed to, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I listened and paid attention. I committed early, 10th grade year, oh, to really? Florida State, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I even started recruiting other guys and stuff like that to come there, mm -hmm. like EJ Manuel. Um, uh, we had a guy named Nick Moody, um, the little homie Greg Reed. Um, mm -hmm. We, I has, we was getting guys coming left and right, you know what I'm saying? Really rebuilding that program to back to what it was, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We knew Jimbo was going to be taking over and stuff like that. So we knew we had extra leverage, mm -hmm. you know? So we took that opportunity and we used, we used, he used us as an ability as being a high rank recruits to help build that relationship with other high rank recruits and mm -hmm. get us back to where we was going. Mm -hmm. So that's how I ended up going there, you know what I'm saying? But. I took them visits because mm -hmm. it was smart, man. Um, obviously, you can still, even though I was committed, I felt I still had to see my opportunity to see what was out there. So I went to like Georgia, LSU, um, obviously Miami. Mm -hmm. um, where else I went? That was good. I went to USC. That was a good visit. Mm -hmm. So 
I just took my visit just to see what was out there. And I liked the whole college experience, the whole visit experience thing. So I thought that was a great map. Right. And um, when I, cho I just chose who I chose because I already knew where I was going. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you said, what are you talking about? <laughs> I knew where I was going. I had to stop playing with them. And y'all ain't changing my mind up. What do you, you know think the second choice would have been? Uh, it probably used to be Florida or LSU. Florida, and, LSU. and people kill me. They say that's what messed my draft status up because I ain't playing the SEC. Right. You know oh, okay. what I'm saying? But that was, yeah, because that was going to lead into that question too. Uh, I see you went, what, third round? Seemed like you. I went fourth. Fourth, third actually. or fourth round. Seemed yeah. like you were supposed to be in the first or second round. What you think was the difference why your draft stock dropped <laughs> off? First you know, off. Not to mention that. So the time I'm 16 years old, I got a mouth full of slugs. Ah. So I'm, <laughs> so from that time, <laughs> yeah, we gleam <laughs> like that from all the way there, all the way up to I leave college, you know what I'm saying? And I get to the combine, I take them out. So mm -hmm. that's what, I think that had a whole different type of image back then. Yeah. Um, at that point in time. Because mm -hmm. the only person who was really doing it was Ocho, mm -hmm. and, and obviously other than him was Edgerrin James, family, and right. Doom was the players that I looked up to, right. you know what I'm saying? Doom right. was my role models, you know what I'm saying? On the field, far as coming from down this area and seeing players ball, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's you our culture. Saying? That's what we That's do. That's our culture, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It fooled so, me too, man, because I, I had two right here, you know what I'm saying? I, I, my mama stopped me, boy, as soon as I turned 18, because she wasn't going to sign the paper for me. Because you got to be 18 to get your gold. But on that 18th birthday, I went and dropped two, and I was finna go get yep. all of them. But she stopped me, boy. She begged me not to. Thank she God. She was but, smart, you know, boy, because yeah, they sure enough hit me with them yeah. questions. <laughs> yeah, all that, right? <laughs> they hit me with them questions, boy. Great day. They hit me with all kind of off-the-wall questions that wasn't even my character. Right. You know? Just and because of... Just because of that, that's and that was my appearance. Yeah, and that's I, great. And so, and I'm big, and especially back then, boy, I was in high school. I'm six two two twenty in high school, mm -hmm. like ready. Like, ready. They like that boy ready for the league. They damn this scared. Send him <laughs> right now. Send him. Like I'm like hey, you ain't right, ready though. Right, <laughs> I had right. so much to learn, boy. So much. Right. And you know what I'm saying. But I had the frame. I had the frame. I really kind of was. A little bit ahead of my time. I think I think I should have played probably about ten years a little bit more early because I was so physical and that was the mm -hmm. highest point of my game. Like I love the physicality, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So yeah. it was more of that aspect for me of the game had transitioned, you know what I'm saying, and it wasn't the same. You couldn't you couldn't hit guys the same no more, especially towards the end. So, but when I first got in, it was still. The gritty a little bit, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause when I first came, shoot, you, you still had Vontae Leach at, um, at fullback. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Big Leach mm -hmm. at fullback in Baltimore. So, it, it, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that trans, that whole, that's a whole different game. Yeah, like, it's, it's it totally changed. Right. It totally changed. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I was able to hold my own, cause I had a little bit of background. Mm -hmm. When I was in high school, I played a little bit of safety. Mm -hmm. So I was able to, Cover a little bit, you know. I can cover the running backs. He was an athlete. Yeah, I could. I could be a little bit more versatile. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But it was, it was more so me that whole time just having to figure out my body. Because at one point when I got to college, I was too big. Mm -hmm. Coming in the league, I was too big. I was stiff. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I had to figure out the yoga game, mm -hmm. flexibility. I had to start eating right. Had to and gain that wisdom. I had to get a lot of knowledge, yeah. a lot of knowledge, yeah. boy. Because I ain't had nobody show me because I ain't had no real role model. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? All I had was my older brother. You know what I'm saying? I had my auntie. Mm -hmm. and she, that wasn't a good role model <laughs> at the time. But, but my auntie was the ultimate hustler. And yeah. she was well known down here. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. So mm -hmm. it, it was major to have her. She spoiled me for real. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I ended up being motivated my whole life, bro, because I ended up losing her the day after my birthday, mm -hmm. like when I turned like nine years old. Dang, so you know I, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I had so many promises to her, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I even named my daughter after, you know oh, what I'm okay. talking about? So it's like, it's big, right. you know what I'm saying? So I'm steady, steady going. It's a steady map, you know what I'm saying? Now I done jumped to into a lot of a lot of other lanes, you right, know what I'm right, saying? So right. it's it's a, a learning process. It's been a, a crazy map, but it's been <laughs> a, the best map 
a life. I wouldn't want to experience it no other way. No other way. It's the best way, right? You know what I'm Through the hard times and the good times, you know. We take them on the chin and we keep rolling. That's how it go, right? That's how it go. So what you what you got new, man? You got anything new going on? You got yeah, any so, um, businesses or foundations or charities, anything? What you got? Yeah, so I got this. I got my foundation. Is, it's one tackle for change. Mm-hmm. One title for change? One tackle. For one change. tackle for change. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. so, they was telling me, not to interrupt you, um... You know, I do, you know, of course, do a little research. It was like, man, you big on giving back, man. You, every year you did the camp, you did the give back, a back yeah. in white color. You yeah. know what I mean? So, you know, tell Yeah, us I had about to it. show them something that, you know what I'm saying, we never had. You know what I'm saying? Because through my youth and experiencing, like, dang, if I could have had these camps, you know what I'm saying, I'd be having the opportunity to bring back all the guys at Florida State. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Your son was at one. Right. Matter of fact. And, you know what I'm saying, big time help and big time influence on them kids, man, because... I know at that point in time, if I could have had something like that, whoo, boy, I'd have been through the roof. I tell you, you know that what I'm saying? All the time. <laughs> well, tell, let me tell you how, how what you're saying is so real. Like, you know, you know, we grew up how we grew up. So, you know, me and my brothers, and we want to go to college. So we barely make it to college. I got, I got two choices. I got Hofstra and I got UCF. So I get to UCF barely, right? Mm-hmm. So my first day on campus. I couldn't believe what I was seeing and I was experiencing all this opportunity and people. I literally wanted to just run all the way home in the hood, gather everybody in the hood and tell that man, what y'all trying to come up on gold D's and rims, man, there's so much opportunity out here, man. Y'all got, we got to figure this out and change. This is what we're trying to do, man. There's no reason they got grants, they got loans, they got all type of stuff for you to go to college (laughs) that we don't know about because we caught up in our little whatever we caught up in, you right. know what I mean? Yeah, so searching for it. Yeah, man. Yeah, it, it yeah. Help speak on that. Though. And that's a big part of it because it's just showing like those those individuals that you care off of is just the strength. Mm-hmm. Like it ain't you don't need nothing out of that. You right. know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta ask like. But I want to show y'all it's a search to this process. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not just. Because it's hard by yourself, you know what I'm saying? We mm-hmm. ran by ourselves, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And fortunately, uh, the little bit of help we had here and there, but at the same time, you running it by yourself on this whole map and this journey of life, man, because you're going to need a little help every now and yeah. then. And yeah. that knowledge, seeking for it, you know what I'm saying? Just like you mentioned them grants and loans, those aspects go into so much of business and, like, education mm-hmm. and like everyday life you can utilize right to your advantage you know what i'm saying but mm-hmm. at, like you said we be stuck in our bubble mm. we have to get outside gotta get outside get outside expand our reach Talk we got a, a crazy outreach that mm-hmm. we can network with yeah. you know what i'm saying and it's crazy because i be seeing guys you know like go through the transition because mm-hmm. we be so focused though and playing ball for so long and you might think you built a, a great team of people around you sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then it kind of changed when you leave. Mm-hmm. It happens, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because it happened to me. Mm-hmm. It happened to me, bro. Right, right. And, I, and I ain't afraid to say it. So you, you know saying, saying basically, you thought the people loved you for you, I was there for you because of who you were and all that. But in real, all reality, they only liked, they was only there for the, for the good run. Once it's over Certain with, they, they gone. Certain people for sure. So certain, certain people for sure. Like yeah. an agent, for mm-hmm. instance. Mm-hmm. Um, couple of financial advisors. Because mm-hmm. for one, I was with Merrill Lynch, mm-hmm. which is a whole another place now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that's just they got a whole another image of of how they even looked at and right. view in a, in, a, in the aspect of business and even banking. You and know how they treat their clients. How they treat their clients. Right. And, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything like that. So. It's just going through all those maps of knowledge, man. Mm-hmm. You have to run that map because yeah. who else, how else was I going to know? You right. know what I'm saying? Because I remind you, these people present it to you. Right. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Think they love you. They think they're down for you. And then you don't realize until yeah. you get older, like, what they really hit for. So, um, yeah, so now, right? So you go to the league, right? You draft to the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> What's that like? Who's your coach, man? To, oh, so the coach at the like, time... Man? Was Chan Gailey. 
Mm-hmm. So my Buffalo map was crazy because I had a, a down there new head coach every year. Mm-hmm. Well, a new coaching staff every year. Actually, I did. Right. Um, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so right. I was learning new defense every year. Every you year. feel me? Couldn't so get comfortable. Couldn't get comfortable at all. But I had a good map, though. So when I first get there, I'm thinking, man, it's crazy because I just heard Clinton Porter's them talking about it and Wilson McGee. The they like, you know, ain't nothing in Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? Right. This and that. You know, they like, ain't nothing up but Applebee's. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> come to find out, man, Buffalo was kind of low-key straight. Yeah, it's all right. Huh? It was all right. It yeah. was a great, like, I met a lot of great people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They got some great people, just authentic with mm-hmm. some real people. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, man, I had the opportunity to hit the six, which I probably would have never went mm-hmm. if I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? That's right across the border. Right across right? the border. Yeah. I hit that yeah. a couple of times. Yeah, so six, if y'all don't know what the six is, the six is Canada, right? They know Drake. They, 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 they know Drake. <laughs> they know Drake. They know what the six is. Come they ain't the six, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely take advantage of that when you're in Buffalo yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. Rookie nights and all that. That's what we Rookie used to night. do all that at. Yeah. 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 Tell me one of your wildest stories from. Oh man. From one of your wildest. Come on, give me one. Give one me of the one. wildest stories. <laughs> All right. Damn, boy, I can't get that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Uh, shoot, hey, let me see, man. It's raw and authentic over here, baby. It Just is don't get that. yourself boy. caught up now. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. All right, I'll take it to college. I tell you the cop. Because I'm fat game there, hey. Yeah, it's fat game. You so. <laughs> sing, sing <laughs> uh, so I used to throw these all white parties, man. Um, and it was well known in the city. And then, like, every year on my birthday, my birthday fall on Labor Day weekend. What? That's yeah. lit. Yeah, That's so lit. everybody really celebrate. Yeah. Appreciate it, yeah. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, so I used to throw these all white parties, but it's, you know, it's crazy because. I used to invite all my homies. I used to get like three, four limos. That's was like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was really living like I was in the league already. Really? Really. You was getting it. Really. I'm <laughs> sure your son tell you some stories right, he heard in the locker room. Right, yeah. Right. That boy that, hey, right. them boys know about Bradham, boy. Hey, they <laughs> tell you that, boy. They know about Bradham, boy. Hey, one thing you went through that era, you go through Tallahassee, you're going to know about Bradham. Yeah, That's Bradham. for sure. You put on and for the city. I huh? have put on, man. Put on all the ways. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Every time. Because it's, it's, it's authentic where I come from. It ain't easy to get it up out of there. And you know what I'm saying? To do it. Why not? Why not mm-hmm. represent farm? You know what I'm saying? Because I want more of us. Right. I want more of us, man. You want to get, you want to inspire them, man. Definitely. Look what you can be doing, man. I want yeah. more of us. Mm-hmm. But yeah, back so to the, the parties, story. though. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing right. the parties, man. So at this time, boy, I probably used to have about 15 girls. Mm. 15 girlfriends. They weren't my girlfriend, but they, they felt like they were my girlfriend. A, a friend, girl, girlfriend, girlfriend, all the same thing. Same thing, same thing, same thing. So, boom, we got an all white party, man. I got all everybody on the hummus. So I got my cousin. He always, they always run to him. He the cool cousin, so they're going to run to him with every problem. You know what I'm saying? They like, man, who all these girls is? I know he messing with her. I know he messing with her. <laughs> all the girls, I'm like, man, nah, this my dog. This for y'all. <laughs> right off the Man, road. so long story short, man, so my homie's like, he like, man, I don't know what you going to do, boy, because they all trying to go home with you. I said, shit, man, it's my birthday, man. Just tell all of them I'm just too fucked up and then just send one my way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, try hey, to deal with that drama, that's dog. Bad, that's boy, that's that way too much drama, that's dog. That's, 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 that's way too much drama to deal that's with on my boy's yeah. birthday. But yeah, that's about the only story I can give y'all. Everything else I can't give y'all, yeah, man. Hey. Else <laughs> you got to know me. <laughs> oh, wait, you got to send me one. You know which one to pick. Night. You know you already he know. know he know that. Hey, she know who she was. We ain't got to disclaim nothing. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But it was a, it was a great journey, man. Right, right. I had some wild you Super had Bowl stories. You had ball in college, huh? And college That's why I tell amazing. everybody, man, college is probably the funnest amazing. times in your life, boy. Yeah. Other than my Super Bowl, yeah, yeah. Other than the Super Bowl, yeah? Yeah. Right, yeah. We're going to get into that, too. Yeah. We're going to get into that, too. Yeah. So, like, so, boom, you go to Buffalo. You know, you're hearing all this stuff about Buffalo, but you like, it ain't as bad as they say. You know what I mean? Nice people, this and that. But now, 
you got, you you're trying to get your big contract, right? Yeah. Or whatever. But it's still a fight to get that big it's contract. Fu- it's a fight because I'm transitioning to a new coach every year. I'm going to a new defense every year. So it's like, dang, I went from Chan Gailey to uh Doug Marone to Rex Ryan. And when I had Doug Marone, they kept him for two years, but he changed defensive coordinators on me. <laughs> So you're still, still a different coach. You feel me? Year. So I'm still learning a new. So, but I think what happened with that that mapped me out to actually be able to know every defense in the league. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when I got the opportunity to do that, when I when I got Rex Ryan, them, oh Dennis Thurman was was loving me, boy. You yeah. know DT. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Yeah. He was like, boy, hey, you like Michael Jordan out here, boy? I ain't got no tight end, no running back. You can't cover. That was uh, straight up. Straight like, up. It, Straight up. Yeah. That's just come from college working with DBs all the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We had T Buck at college at that time. Oh, yeah, too. yeah. yeah. He he used to keep shout out to T Buck. Shout out to T Buck always. You know what I'm saying? So he used to keep us right with the footwork. Yeah. And yeah. that shit, that, that taught me a lot. That taught me a lot. Just learning all those defenses. And then by the time of pushing me to Philly, because I couldn't get no new deal. Mm-hmm. When I look at it now and understanding the business, I couldn't get a coach that was going, you know what I'm saying? If they, they, they keep they changing. Said, they said, if I, were, if I were, uh, read it correctly or heard correctly, they was trying to make you play off a one-year deal to prove yourself. Or you were saying, I, give me a one-year deal, I prove myself, then boom, you got the deal. How did that, how did that end up playing? No, see, that, that happened when I went to Philly. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, so. So, going to, so me leaving Buffalo, they, when I left Buffalo, I was a free agent. I mm-hmm. had played out that whole contract. Mm-hmm. So now nah, I got my agent and he like, you know, they want to sign you to a one year deal, prove it deal. And I'm like, man, I just, man, y'all ain't, man, I just killed money out there. <laughs> Every right. time we came down here and played the Dolphins on Mutton. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, and Patriots too. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and that's why I'm like, yo, what? A, a prove it deal. Who? I just played four years. <laughs> just prove proved, what? I just proved it. And I, I went from a special teams player to a starter in game six of my rookie year. Uh-huh. You feel me? Mm. So I'm like, yo, what you talking about? And started ever since. And I, I missed a couple of games in Buffalo. One year I played like 11 games in Buffalo because I was hurt. I had messed my ankle up. But, oh, that's why they tried me like that, matter of fact. Because oh, yeah. I was coming off the ankle, ankle. injury. Oh, that's why they were trying. That's why they tried me like that. That's the business side that people don't see, man. That's the game, why they tried they me like that. You, what did you say? You played three, four years, hard going out, that's and why they you got a little like injury. That. Now they trying to say, prove it. So Philly come to me, and they like, yo, we'll give you a two-year deal for seven. And I'm like, I don't really want to take that, but you know what? I'm going to run it. So, because I knew who I was, because I seen it here, I just got Jim Schwartz. Because mm-hmm. I had Jim Schwartz in Buffalo. And oh, so I, you was familiar with Yeah, him. I okay. said, ooh. Because Jim Schwartz ran the same defense as Florida State ran when I was in college. Mm. So I said, ooh, boy, <laughs> opportunity yeah, not for me. That's it. But they like, oh, this is what they tell me in Philly, though. Look, yo, front office. They tell me, we going we only going to see you on really playing first and second down right now because at the time they had two linebackers who they felt was going to be their three down linebackers which was Jordan Hicks and uh oh. Michael Kendricks. Oh okay. My Michael Kendricks was drafted the same year as me. One of them players I was talking about. Oh, that you going to show you better than okay. Chip I got on you. the shoulder. Chip on your shoulder. You feel me? No mm. offense to Michael Kendricks cuz that's my dog. Yeah. It's just Solid. competition, man. But That's all it is. This is going, this is my story, you feel me? Right. So, it's your story. You know what I'm saying? So, me going there, I'm like, all right, man, y'all got me fucked up. Straight up. Boy, I ain't Straight never up. not played three downs in my Straight life. Up. That's so, an insult. I'm really a four down linebacker, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Right. So, shoot, I'm like, yo, man, you crazy. Like, y'all ain't finna play with me like that, but all right, I'm gonna run it. Mm-hmm. So, I end up signing the deal. They tell me that. I say, Swartz, you know what's up, right? <laughs> he say, I already know. You ain't got to tell me nothing. Because mm-hmm. when I got there, I had a meeting with Swartz. He tell me, you know, we got some good guys. He been looking for them, but they just ain't got that. They was missing that, that it at the time, that dog, really, that just mm-hmm. somebody out there who was going to talk some shit, 
make some plays, like just, you know what I'm saying, somebody mm-hmm. who going to mix some shit up and give right. them that edge on defense. They ain't have it at that time. Mm-hmm. Them boys was nice boys. The nice boys, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been through that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So that wasn't my persona. Right. Because I'm, I'm one of the ones that was going to talk down yeah. to every down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and bring the pressure with it. And bring the pressure with it because mm-hmm. that was my game. Because, yeah. shoot, I, that's what I like. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I was like, you know, I take that opportunity and I told him, like, yeah, this is going to be mine. And I'm really supposed to be calling the plays. Who you telling that to? Kendrick? Jim Swartz. Oh, you telling that to Jim Swartz? Jim okay. Swartz in 2016. Uh-huh. This is my year going there. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> he like, yeah, I see you. And I already know what you could do. Because I, I ran it in Buffalo with him. You know what I'm saying? We really had like the top defense that year with him. Mm-hmm. Top three in the front seven for sure. Mm-hmm. In the front seven, and that which is big. When nobody rushing a hundred. Right. But we just ain't had no... No, no offense. Good on one side, but boy, we worse on the other. And mm-hmm. I was like, man. So we had to map that out. And he knew he had his scheme and every strategy was everything. But I knew the defense in and out. And I knew none of them did. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I knew I had an advantage right then and there. Mm-hmm. And I just used that to my ability. Like just knowing myself and what I like my experience. And, and making it similar to, I already know the terminology. He's gonna teach and everything. Right. So I'm, I'm so you're a step out the ahead gate of everybody as a free already. agent. I'm way ahead of y'all, boy, because y'all got to learn. Right. You know what I'm saying? I done learned it already, and I still remember. You know, it's just refreshing. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Muscle so memory. That's it. So mm-hmm. we get out there, we start spring practice. They got me sitting on the side, every fucking third down. <laughs> Eat me up. Eat me up. Boy, I'm hot. I'm talking about I'm hot. But I'm like, yo, y'all killing me, dog. Like, yo, ain't no way. Y'all got me sitting, dog. And you know what I'm saying? So boys see me, they like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Just be patient. I'm like, man, fuck all that. I don't, <laughs> excuse my language. I don't be patient. Good, yeah. <laughs> I don't be patient, mm-hmm. bro. Like, it's time for patient. Time for we got time. The yeah. time is not. I'm here. Nine. I'm supposed to be on the sideline. Yeah. So all spring, I go through that. Training camp come. I'm like, man, I ain't doing this shit no more, boy. I'm going to be on the field, third down. Right. I don't care about that first second down. That ain't my yo. I'm a third down guy. Like nah. Been locking up tight end. Been been killing that. Yo, like nah. We not doing this. Not doing this, bro. And I said, you know what? I'm finna just go out here and fuck up everybody in practice. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, man. You know, cause we got good tight ends. We got Zach Ertz. Uh, mm-hmm. We had Selleck, and we had Trey Burton. Mm. Yeah, 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 dogs. Yeah, Sadik, yeah. Sadik, dog. Too, yeah, boy, he was yeah. a bit older though, but he was a bit older at that time. Yeah, he was a bit older. But he still was, he was gonna block shit at you and yeah. all that. But I ain't give, I ain't care. Yeah, I ain't care. I ain't care. Fuck it. Like I'm like, man, you know what, bro? I can't be nice right now till I get my spot. <laughs> my spot. And that's third down. <laughs> I, I gotta be on that field, bro. Cause Yo, what's the money? Hey, what's the money down, hey, man? Nigel, We're Nigel, on the order in the Nigel, second. You play first. It's second down. Nah, bro. Uh-uh. I ain't gonna third down. The thing put me on a nickel package instead. Because right. I'd rather play that. Like, I'm not first, because. I'm athletic. I can cover everybody. Put me out go get some balls. I, I make see the play. game changing anyway, so you right. want 11 personnel really now on first and second down anyway. Right, right. So I'm like, oh, no, nah, boy. You crazy. Ain't, who running? Ain't nobody running 21 no more and 12 right. like that. You're nope. not running base defense. So I'm like, yo. Man, nah, y'all got me messed up. I'm so gotta get saw, this back. So the audio in the session, like you say, you saw that coming before it was happening. Like, yeah. listen, I ain't gotta be the main on on base defense because people ain't even running base defense no more. They running three receivers and that game is gone. And nickel, nickel back stuff. Especially so. at that time, sixteen, that game was gone because they was already fading it out in twelve and thirteen. Like. Mm. So it was already getting out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So by the time 14, 15 came, that shit was pretty much gone. And in 16, for sure, that shit was gone. They was running 11 personnel, first, second down. Yeah. For sure. So you, uh, so you're Super Bowl champion, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Super Bowl champion in the house, you know, times two, you know how we do. (laughs) So, um, 
you know what what made that that uh championship team different from all the other teams you've been on and like you say you had a great time that year well yeah. what was it man i know Doug Doug Peterson was the coach yeah um talk Doug to me Peterson about that year man so <laughs> it's funny um uh, cuz that year we we actually kind of knew well, I knew. I said it early. I said it. If you look on my player card on the back of that mug, it say like week six. I had already said we was going. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, but well, you got a a good habit of speaking things in existence, huh? Yeah, yeah go on and speak like something that. in existence, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, gonna come up on fifty years. <laughs> hey, it's all about that vision, man. Just yeah. having that sight, man. And, and paying attention right, too, and right. staying focused, like you said earlier, like you know what I'm saying. But yeah, so that year, we we already knew because for one, the year before '16, we had just got Carson Wentz. Mm -hmm. He had played pretty decent, but he, we went nine and seven. I say that, and our defense was killer that year. Mm. When people look at it, mm -hmm. our front seven was. Killing Brandon Graham, boy. Beast. Our front seven <laughs> was killing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And then, you know what I'm saying? I, but I, we had we were still a little weak at corner right then. We were strong at safety, mm -hmm. but we were still a little weak at corner right then. We couldn't really find. But then when 17 got there, we went and got uh, Patrick Robinson, mm -hmm. and then we picked up um, we picked up uh, Legarrette Blunt mm -hmm. in free agency and mm -hmm. Alshon, mm -hmm. and I said. Oh, we can run the ball and, and we we could just ain't nobody gonna score over 20. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna score over 20 on us. That's the formula. That's it. Cause That's now it. we got corners. Now we straight. You got a big bruising back. What? And, and we could just run the ball. Mm -hmm. And I said, and we got receivers now. We got receivers to match with the tight ends. But Carson Wins get hurt. Yes, but we have foes. But you don't know that at the time. Man, if you was at practice, you knew you that. Know. Oh, you you know. already know. <laughs> you at practice, you know that. You know that. You you know man, foes went out there. Like, so y'all was all when 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 Carson Wentz went down, y'all was like, shit, we've been waiting for Nick Foles to get out here anyway. This is who we want to play. You know? I ain't gonna say that. Blah, blah. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. Cause how, how you gonna say it? I'ma say this. Cause Carson was balling. You know what I'm saying? But right, right, right. The issue was he was still young. He had a couple inconsistencies. Like in certain situations, we could have probably needed a little more experience. Right. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who's not gonna gamble as much. Mm -hmm. Cause at that time, Carson was balling. He was he was he was gambling. Mm -hmm. Cause he knew he had that defense. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So he like, oh, I got that defense, boy. Y'all gonna give me that ball or y'all gonna get that three and out. I can slay. I can go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I can run, I can do all that. That's why he was playing like that. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? He was playing because he was he was balling. You know what I'm saying? He could. He 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 had weapons all around him. Mm -hmm. Man, you could talk about Ertz and Trey Burton and Alshon and and Tory Smith, and then you got the running backs, you got Blunt, you got Sproles, you got you got uh Corey, Corey Clement, and you come around, you get they trade and get Jay Ajayi. And when I said, I said, Oh, y'all just gave us the ball. <laughs> y'all just gave us the ball, so man. You knew it was finna happen. You just gave it to us. Dang, you should have hit me up so I could have went and bet on that thing. What <laughs> dang? I knew it, bro. I, bro, I got a video on my phone, me talking to one of my homeboys before the game. Yeah. So I will get into that in a minute. You know yeah. what I'm saying? When we yeah. get to the game and the Super Bowl. But um So that year just lit. That year just lit, you know what I'm saying? We get in there, I say, man, damn, we got all the proper positions, man. Then they move my well, then old boy get hurt. Um, my boy uh Jordan Hicks get hurt and I have to move to Mike. So it's weird. It's weird, it's crazy that it happened like that. But remember I told you uh, what I told Jim Swartz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's mine. I'm coming to get this. I know too much. I know yeah. where everybody's supposed to be. So mm -hmm. imagine having somebody be a general and know all your calls like that and you know where everybody's supposed to be on the field. I can, I'm getting my, my, I'm helping all of them, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Your asset. You're a very important asset. Then I create calls like, oh, for when we play, when we play Brady them, mm -hmm. when we play Brady them, what I do? Oh, we got a bread and butter. 
What his, that's what his hurry up. What you mean? Bread and butter, boy. Uh, Bread and butter. Run that. <laughs> run that. I ain't got a call. Nothing. I ain't got yeah. no time. I ain't Dang. got no time. Bread you and butter. You just put me on game. I ain't never pick up on that. You feel me? <laughs> How we going to be? That hurry up. That's right. the only way. Mm -hmm. Be ready before he ready. You got to. You got to be ready before he ready, bro. If you not, you you know what he going to do to you. Yes, you I know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what he gonna do to you every time. Right. He ain't gonna miss. He ain't gonna miss. So mm -hmm. if you ain't prepared uphill to play him, mm -hmm. and I learned that early for my Buffalo career, you know what I'm saying? That's what helped me a lot in that situation. Because like, you was already going against him. So you going through the mind games and he dunking and this and that. And so you like, all right. And I learned I'm ready. some of his calls. Oh, yeah, the calls yeah. too, right? <laughs> and, yeah, I, hey, and then we mess around and get blunt and blunt and gave me. Oh, because he was at Blunt that gave me the map. Yeah. <laughs> Shout I said Blunt. Shout out hey, to Blunt. Forever, bro. We're from <laughs> close to the same area, kind of similar towns, by the way. Oh, really? In Taylor County, like 30 minutes from me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's Florida crazy, boy. right? Another Florida boy. We mm -hmm. got two. Got to come man. on, man. You got to come on, Gary. get on here. Come talk some shit, man. Some New England shit. Yes, Philly sir. shit. You know, just a bunch of shit. A whole bunch. <laughs> he boiled up, too, so it's only right. Right. You feel me? So we'll get him on here for sure. But that's definitely, man, definitely like that whole map, him giving me that and knowing all of that, I'm like, man, you know, I got a video, me talking to my homeboy, he FaceTime me. I'm in the car, you know what I'm saying? Because we in Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> and I got to ride around. <laughs> yeah. Okay, be yeah. in the hotel all day. Get your mind right. Gotta you get your know, mind right. You know how I'm riding around. <laughs> so I'm on the phone with him and I'm telling him, get on the map, like, yo, boy, you sleep. Because I, I know y'all all thinking at that point in time. Everybody had us out. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Even so they, you you doing this while you riding around in the car? Nah, no. Nah, oh, I'm you parked. had to make it back? No, nah, I'm parked. Oh, you parked, but you yeah. in the streets. Like, you doing your thing. I'm just in a parking lot. Yeah. Right. So you got this busy while I you... I can't be nowhere. You I, got, I had to do what you, I got to do. Get, I'm in Minnesota, fam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I'm trying get... to picture this. <laughs> so you getting your mind right. I'm in Minnesota. You in Minnesota, middle of nowhere. It's I got probably cold. In a rental, and you like, hey boy. Nah, he called me. Oh, he, he called. Me. Oh, okay. He okay. called me. He just was chopping it up. Oh, I you thought you was saying? like, done got got your mind nah, right nah, and just nah, start nah. calling people. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't yeah. never that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a med a, a medical thing. Right, anyway. right. No, but no doubt. Definitely. But uh, for sure, it's like you know, just going through that map and telling him like, yo, man, y'all sleep. I know. I know all y'all got us bet against right now, man. Y'all finna be sick tonight. <laughs> you finna be sick, bro, because we already ready. Man, we saw them come in. We practicing. Them people done came in the in the dang arena, bro. Nobody supposed to be there. They really? up there in the box, bro, doing what y'all doing up there, man. Belichick. And that's how we got the ass. Just like Random that. fake plays. <laughs> Oh, so oh, y'all set him up. Say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuck it, Doug Peterson, boy. Doug he said, yeah, I got a trick for him. Don't you, even huh? worry about it. That's why they ain't know nothing about the, flip, the, the uh, Philly Philly. Uh -huh. They ain't know nothing about none of that. Oh, so they ain't yeah. Because we ain't run them. You know, we do the walkthrough. Uh -huh. But we ran some. So y'all knew they was finna try to do the spy gate. Yes. And y'all set up and they gave a bunch of dummy because plays Because they did it them. to them before. They did it to Philly they before. They did it before. Damn. And, and, Robert uh, and uh, dang Robert Kraft, Robert Kraft, and old boy um uh oh my gosh man he go to gym me right now nah the owner Jeffrey Lurie oh Jeffrey Lurie yeah you know they grew up together I heard that I heard something about that I so heard that they they like childhood friends right but they low key beef I think, I think Jer uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Jeffrey Lurie told me that before like he told me they were yeah. friends and stuff but. They low key beefing off of a competition. Yes. Who can have the biggest business? Yes. Who can have the most business? Who got the yes. biggest franchise? Like, yes. That's a different type of beef. So, like, yeah. so Jeffrey <laughs> was so paranoid about what happened the first time, he made sure Doug was going to make sure that mug was set up to not run no real plays. Uh, you feel me? Yeah. He yeah. made sure. He yeah. had to. He had to. He had to. Take he would not let that happen take again. Take a minute, baby. Take a minute. Make sure shit go right. It's, it go well and well. Like, it's, like you say, it's hand in hand. Take everybody. Take it everybody. was everybody on the line. So, shoot, sure, we all needed to bring that home. Everybody. You know Every, what I'm everybody in this facility, from the secretary, we need your help. The janitors, we need your help. Everybody. We everybody. all in this together. 
Everybody so in the I'm, I'm glad you got to get that feeling, man, to see what it feel like to win the Super yeah. Bowl, man. The parade and all that. that everything. Parade and everything. 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 The ball right. kick off all of the cameras. <laughs> and... This is before social media and all that. I'm... When I won the Super Bowl, it was, just like, it was like I was in a movie. Like, what the fuck? You know what? Man? You saying that? I'm, I'm really mad that I ain't take more advantage of the social media aspect. No. That. You know what I'm saying? Because... It really could have generated a lot for my family. Yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? As far as like just like a lot, a lot of other business avenues. Opportunities, period. A lot of other opportunities. Yeah. It's plenty. a new way of the world. Plenty. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And stuff like that. But we're gonna steady go. It yeah. ain't it ain't never lost. It's that, still that, up. Me and you That's the we, thing. we the same vibe. Like I never set up one of my social media accounts. My financial advisor, when Twitter came out, hey, I'm about to set you up with Twitter, man, <laughs> this and that. And uh, I'm like, man, I don't. He like, watch it, man. Watch it just grow. He said it, and just people just thought it was following and following. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I guess I got a Twitter. Now <coughs> the Twitter's out. Now in the locker room, I see people take pictures of themselves. <laughs> I'm like, what kind of dumb shit is this? Hey, do it all kind of take stuff. pictures of themselves and post it on a. On an app, like this is so dumb. Listen, but, but it took me so long to get the Instagram. But I, I finally didn't think did. it was that important. Yeah. But it, I didn't realize, like to some people, that's the first thing they do. Like it's a priority. It's a priority. It's the you way of their life. It's they. It's they income. This, this is how they eat. Like a lot of shit, man. But some when people got to need attention, feed their egos. Right. <laughs> but when you ain't seen it from like cash from that land, you be like, "That's what I'm saying." You know what I'm saying? That's like, where we come from. Man. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, I don't understand. Hey, First hey. time, like that's crazy. I can't take a picture of myself and put like I don't want to be posing, taking pictures anyway. Like what the fuck? Like, <laughs> but that's the way. You if you don't adapt to change, you get left behind. You get left man. behind, so. bro. That's like saying I ain't investing in crypto right, right now. Right, you know what like I mean. Like, yeah. I gotta, I'm, you gotta be tapped in, bro. Yeah, you all, gotta be tapped. All in. different um, places, man. All different places, bro. Yeah, you gotta right. have a portfolio, and you know what I'm saying. That's with life, yeah, and with it, investments, yeah, with everything, pretty much. Yeah. To be honest, right. um, you gotta build that. And I, I, I learned as I went, like, dang. That stuff does. It helps build the brand. Mm -hmm. It helps build this. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? It helps. It ain't build too this late business. if you ain't on it hard now, nah. man. Be nah. able to get hey, on it, man. I'm get still, on it hard. you know, we steady building. That's yeah, why I just. Keep building. It's crazy because my original page had got hacked. The one oh. that I had a, a lot of followers on. Oh yeah, you, you ain't never tried to get it back. I Try. did, bro. Headache. For one, it was it was bad. It was just a bad experience. <laughs> Bad experience. <laughs> Bad experience. I don't even know how I got hacked. <laughs> All I know, one day I got a WhatsApp with somebody requesting money, and I get my account back, and I said, "What, man? You crazy? <laughs> right. I got that shit for free." Right, right. And guess what? And I guess they wanted me to play, pay for a blue check or whatever, but mm -hmm. I ain't. It ain't matter. So I just started a new one. And I got another blue check, but mm -hmm. it's a new one. It's at Fire Trey underscore underscore underscore. So yeah. Yeah, I'll hit that. That's hit him up. Right follow It'll him, pop man. up. It'll pop up. You ever um did you did you get to play with Shady? Yeah, I did, man. It's crazy. I played with Shady in Buffalo. He, oh, you played so when he left Philly, he went to Buffalo. Yeah, he the trade. Yeah. Uh, okay. He was hot by that trade, yeah. but <laughs> Hey, I remember he was hot yeah, by that trade, but he he learned to grow he, he learned to grow into Buffalo. That's why I tell you, yeah. like you'll learn. Like, dang, you think Buffalo ain't like that, but it's low-key straight. You All just right. gotta know what to do and where to go and shit like that. Like, Be good with yourself. Yeah, yeah that's what, what he was telling saying? me. Like you saying, like first it was like, oh Buffalo. Then he got up there. He was like, it was cool. This yeah. and that. Yeah. What about what about Sean McDermott? Was you did you have Sean McDermott at Philly and Buffalo? Or? Nah, see that's the thing. So I miss him both times. I thought he was there in he in left Buffalo with Sean with Shady. He came the year that I went to Philly. Oh. So when they when they got rid of Rich Ryan. That's when he came over there. Oh. See, I was there with Rez Ryan in 2015. That was my last year in Buffalo. Oh. So yeah, so when we when we we kind of missed paths like that. But it's weird, you. right? That's weird. That's, That's weird. Everybody That's was weird. crossing. But they got a little connection with a little something right there going on. Cause they still to this day do a lot of pe mutual people. Buffalo and Philly. Yeah, like even yeah. in the front office. Like uh -huh. I got like the player. 
the player um, player engagement guy, mm-hmm. originally was my guy in Buffalo, mm-hmm. is the guy in Philly now. Mm-hmm. And when I left, he There's was there. Going when, on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the connection. Yeah. It's a, some kind whoever, of connection. Whoever hiring and firing. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. That's their network. It's <laughs> Philly, Definitely. Buffalo. Even some of the scouts, too, man. So yeah. it go to show you, like, dang. All that my name was brought up because I was in that loop right there. Mm-hmm. If I was if I was in Buffalo, you know what I'm saying. So maybe that, that was the blessing. Maybe, maybe. It, it probably was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Only unfortunate thing probably for me was when I got hurt to end my career in Philly. Pretty much. Mm. What what kind of injury was it? Ankle, toe, big toe, toe. same one. Turf toe. Pretty much, yeah. That's what they call it. But my shit was worse than that. I got that shit that Dion got. Oh yeah, yeah. Man. It cut me twice, my man. Really? Yeah, on my big toe. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. They hurt me. Take care of them toes, young boys. Hey, y'all think it's all but it was funny the games out here? It's it the turf. I was Why at the Saints, bro. That's a whole nother subject, bruh. like man. We got to get rid of turf grass. My foot was stuck. Every, America always trying to figure out how to capitalize on something. Natural, original grass from the earth Wait, is what we play on. We be yes. giving us no carpet for the outside. That shit is not right. Man, get rid of that stuff. That's why you know knees, what I mean? ankles, and joints, and all that messed up now. Hurting and messed up and all kind of stuff. Every time I sit down, I got to lay down and crack my back. Turn it up. Yes. Uh, all Nick, kind of everything. stuff. Knees, knees pop. pop. All type all of that. shit. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get something going with that. They got to yeah. change that, yeah. bro. Fix us, goddammit. I'm shit. telling you, that is not right, bro. It's so, not right. Uh, so, uh, you're a Super Bowl champion. Definitely. You win the Super Bowl. Why color? Got him a Super Bowl Big champion. Big Boy Parade. What, what? Tell everybody what it's saying. Big say. Boy Parade. You driving and you getting to drive right into Wakulla. What it's saying when you enter in Wakulla? Home of Super Bowl champion Nigel Brown. What? Yeah. yeah. Y'all got that going on in <laughs> yes, your city? Yes, sir. You that enter boy. this man city and say, right. "Welcome to Wakulla, home of the Super Bowl champion Nigel Brown." That's what it is, right? They there. put on for that boy, cause he put on for them. You Definitely. see how it go? Definitely. It's reciprocated, you know what I mean? Definitely reciprocated, bro. So uh, yeah, man, you had a great career, man. Like you say. So uh man, we close we close it out, man, and um just keep keep it going. But uh so life after football, man. What how how you say, man, what are the struggles or what do you what are some of the things you go through uh that you have difficulties uh that's challenge you every day, man. Um it's it's certain maps like um as far as land development. I just I just got into the land development game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's kinda hard trying to find in somebody who's like us mm-hmm. in that land, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And who's been doing Speak it for your some language. Time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to really either find a mentor mm-hmm. who's been doing it and mapping it out either for some couple of years, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. So I can really learn the game, be able to de- develop some properties and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Cause I really found out, like, I had to find my passion through that through that transition, obviously. Cause okay. I ended up going back to school, man, getting my MBA. Okay. And then I after I completed, it, I was like, damn, what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Right. right. And I was like, <laughs> I still gotta find my passion. Right. I done got my MBA. I done, I done did what all they say I'm supposed to do. Now what? You know what I mean? You feel me? I done went and got this shit. Now, now it was, but Ain't then I realized, <laughs> I realized that, damn, do you want to work for somebody or you want to be an owner? Right. And then I realized, I said, damn, well, obviously ownership is everything. Right. You know what ownership I'm saying? Ownership is everything. And when I took it into that aspect, I said, okay, well, how can I map myself out to be an owner in that lane? So what I did was got me a LLC, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Got me bank accounts, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Start meeting with people, sitting down. I did find this one guy. His name is Gerard, by mm-hmm. the way. He's a uh, he's 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 black. Uh, hat, well, he's black and um, uh, dang, what is it? it's like a uh, Liberian? Or oh yeah, yeah. So, he, so he's mixed. definitely a mixed culture. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying. He gave me a couple of jewels, you know, okay. and. You know what I'm saying? I'm applying them. And he I know obviously we meet every now and then. So finding a mentor and that mentor helping you walk 
through the stages so you can learn this the proper way, basically, is what you're trying to say. Yeah, I mean, Cause it's, it's, something new. it's, it's new, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's no different, though. That's the thing I learned about this game, bro. It's the same as football. Mm -hmm. Like, everything we did in meetings is the same, same thing they doing. Same thing. PowerPoints right? and writing, taking notes <laughs> and going right. over lectures. There is no different game plan. Like, that's what I learned about football. Like, it taught me a lot about structure in life, a lot about how to vamp yeah. yourself and create yourself as a corporate LLC or you being your own ownership. It shows you. That, like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then being in the NFL shows you the ultimate way. The whole thing. The whole it really team matters. concept, how to, how to work with people, how to have Everything. discipline, how to be on time. That's where I got all my discipline from. And I try to tell people that I never had no rules in my life. I never, I never been told to come inside before the lights. I never told to turn in your homework. I never been told to go to school. Yeah. So I had to figure out where I learned my discipline from. And only I got to give it to to sports, man, because they teach me how to be teammates and work yeah. with people and learn. And I quit every I quit every sport I ever played because my mom I never I never had my mama didn't discipline me. So I go play this sport, and you telling me you trying to discipline me or get me into nigga, what you mean? I don't understand. I'm out of here. What the fuck you talking yeah. about? You ain't gonna <laughs> tell me what to do. I would have never thought I nobody, heard you say that. Though. Nobody tell me what the fuck to do. Who the Straight fuck up. is you? Like, I'm out of here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that was kind of my life. You I know feel what I mean? you. I feel you. Yeah. But I would never thought you quit like that. Like, That's what I'm but saying. But I see that, though. I see it that way. Yeah. But as far as, like, right. when you said but it, like, I, I, I know I, But sport, that, it's, it's, it's it goes in, like, I, I had to learn that. Yeah. So as I got older, like you say, doing sports, being around the men and stuff, I had to learn being a quitter is pussy. You know what I mean? Like, being a quit is chump. That's so I, I had to learn. I can't quit. I can't quit and stuff like that. So I had to, I mean, I, I quit all the way through high school. Like, you know what I mean? Coach trying to go back old school. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I'm out of here. He ain't finna touch me. Like, you got me messed up. Yeah. RP, man. Coach <laughs> Books, man. You know what I mean? Business, man. But uh, sure. yeah, man. So um, yeah, your situation, man. It happened, what, a year ago? Uh, about yeah. a year ago, man. Man, the most. Have some fun with it, man. What, 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 how that went down, man? What, what was going so, on? So I'm going to. So I actually bought some land in my in what color actually. Okay. Okay. And I, I'm going there, and I was planning to develop it. Mm -hmm. But my mom is right behind my mom, like mm -hmm. literally, it's four acres behind my mom and my mom. Behind got, where your mama stay. Okay. Yeah, and my mom got the other four. And you want to so develop that? Yeah, so oh, I want to put it together. I get it now. I got you now. Okay. I want to put it together. I'm going to have to make a trip up there. Okay. Yeah, it's something, it's, but it is some great investments out there. Yeah. And it's it's low key growing like crazy. Like they, they done amped up. Bro. Like, this shit, I, I never <laughs> I know, thought right? would have been there, bro. Like they got Publix now. And no, you got you got, you got Target. You, you're on the land. That's land what mine. I'm like, yeah, you. that's and what I'm telling you. Gold mining. The map right? there. Yeah. I you said it earlier. Sure. Hey. Because them underdeveloped know places. You're looking at. Underdeveloped places, they start developing. You it's get it changing. for cheap and then boom. It's changing. Go crazy. You know what I mean? It's changing. Commercial property is definitely extremely available there yeah. and low. Don't be trying to steal my mouse. <laughs> I'm going to join on with you. I'm going to hit yeah, you. Right. No, you're you more than welcome. You know what I'm saying? Talking about them right. loopers on the outside. Right. You I don't like that. It'd be wrong. People, if I try to sneak up the white color, and yeah, buy some it, stuff it some I hit you up. You know it'd what be what some mean? loopers out there. But I ain't worried about it because ain't too many people going to really take that search for it because right. it's still a drive. Probably don't even know where to go, how to get right. exactly there. They're going to Google it, but it's cool. They ain't going to. They ain't gonna go take that ride though. Right. That's they ain't gonna drive for them dollars, as they say. You right. feel me? So <laughs> it'd be different. Right. So you, know so you say you driving, you're going to. But see. yeah, I'm going up there, man. I'm going. It's actually the day of the Florida State Miami game. Mm -hmm. I'm going, and I, I'm I'm literally, bro, in a group of cars. I'm not speeding, nothing like that. Um, but I am in this expensive ass car. Well. It wasn't. It ain't really expensive to us. It was the Corvette. It was new, but I had put that matte, the flat matte gray on it, mm -hmm. and I put some black twenty twos on it. Mm -hmm. And that mother looked crazy at that time because for one, they was just came out and nobody was getting them mm -hmm. yet like that. Like you know right. what I'm saying? But they wasn't even up there at all. I about to say, what city you in make a big difference too? It wasn't right? even up there at all. <laughs> so you this ain't what color where you at? This right is now? on the way. On so the I'm way. pretty much. 
in Tallahassee, not like Saint Martin, getting off my bus. Not St. Martin, but the officer who got who got me was from Madison. So Madison, that's what it is. Madison. Yeah. I heard about that yeah. Madison. But I was bro. in Tallahassee already though. Yeah. I was literally about to get off my ex. But he from Madison though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So long story short, um long story. Well, nah, I'm gonna tell the story. I ain't skipping nothing. But so anyway, we I pass him in a group of cars. They clocking cars. I already seen them anyway. Mm-hmm. But I'm not speeding or nothing. We in a group of cars. So my ex is like three miles up. I see him come out. I see him come out, literally. Mm-hmm. And then I see him, I don't speed up or nothing, because I'm I'm just about to get off my exit anyway. So I'm about to get over. I see him weaving through cars, bruh. Next thing I know, he done jump behind me jump and turn his lights on. I said, man, what the fuck? And this motherfucker, yeah. Yeah. like, what does he want? All right. I ain't like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I ain't got nothing in the car but some weed and the guns they mine. So, mm-hmm. And they was registered to me, mm-hmm. obviously. So, so you told them that right off the rip? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, but so apparently I had did, so I did a transfer title tag, temporary transfer title. So originally I bought the car in Georgia, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Bought the car in Georgia, paid cash for it. Mm-hmm. Got the car down here, I live down here. Mm-hmm. So. Trying to register it. I need the title. My birthday just passed. You know what I'm saying? September. I had bought the car in August. I mm-hmm. only had one temporary, one month. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm trying to register it for my birthday. So they give me a, a, I already had a tag. They give me a temporary tag transfer. And so I get that tag and put it on the, the Corvette. Because now that tag belongs to the Corvette. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. So the issue is, I never had the title. So mm-hmm. when you get a temporary tag transfer, you only, within 30 days, that title has to be presented. Mm-hmm. To somewhere, to the, you bought the cash to the, or the re- No, just to, all you need is the title. Like you just- To get the registration. Need, correct. Oh. All I, but I had the title, I had to get the title from the company in Georgia. Right, that's what I'm trying to say, yeah. So they claim they sent it. I ain't got it. I called them. What a tag. Well, I mean, what a title. Uh, we sent it. This and that. Uh, Exposed went out this day. Said it was delivered. Okay, I ain't get that title. And it wasn't delivered here. Mm-hmm. So y'all need to send me another one. Bro, never got the next title. Bro, I ain't end up getting a title to December. December. I got pulled over in November. November. <laughs> exactly. So, so, so. They canceled my, they canceled the te- temporary tag. Because you have to present the title within 30 days. Mm. But I couldn't get the title. That was my mm. whole point. So I kept telling them that. Like, yo, the car is my name. So either way, you see that I bought the car. The car not stolen. Mm-hmm. The car not st- Bro, I had 15 charges. Oh. I had 15 charges, Stanley. So they, they booked you for a stolen car? Bro, Plus I had the other 15 stuff? charges. What? I had I had 15 charges. So that's what I'm saying. So that's crazy, man. Like how? How? So they I had two guns and so t- some weed. So tell me. Just saying. We like, all we all been through it, right? You know, we all That ain't we, my first situation either. That's right. why they trying to they trying to make it seem like a more than that because so I, I gotta you. talk about everything. We're gonna talk about it. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Talk about everything. Talk about it. So, so what was the first situation? 2016. 2016. 2016. Um, my first situation, matter of fact, getting a fight on the beach. South Beach? Yeah, Nikki Beach. Nikki Beach, what? Yeah, Nikki Beach. I get in a fight, bro, because I'm with I'm with my lady, my son, like two years old at this time. I'm with her mom, one of her girlfriends, her younger brother and one of his little homies. It's like a little family day type of thing, bro. Mm-hmm. So we get the cabana and all this shit and pay for the cabana. So, you know, they, they can move the cabanas like on the sand and shit. These are the ones that's in the sand. Right. So I guess he, her mother asked him, can he move the uh, cabana closer to the water? And I guess he had got some kind of attitude. They got some kind of exchange. This and that. Next thing I know, now my lady mad. This and that. 
they arguing, but he put his hands on my lady. Mm. So once he pushed my lady, I do what I, I just take off. <laughs> what I'm supposed to Natural do. Natural thing. <laughs> the hell you take off hands, yo. So exactly, it's like so it's just, that's principle, bro. Like mm-hmm. you not finna put your hands so on this her. Happened at Nikki Beach, Beach. This somebody this putting Beach. their hands on your wife at Nikki Beach. Nikki Beach, fam. Lord, Lord, Lord I boy. pray I never go through these time. situations. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. I don't know how I got put through them. Bro. So you put your paws on actually. I had to. Did you win? <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't tell me it was a tie on Nikki Beach now. Nah. Ain't never been no tie. I'm going to just say this. Buddy Buddy got a problem. His tit up. That shit it's just run. Really. It just, just run. run. Like. I had to pay, but that's when I found out Rick Ross was lying. Punch in the face to get you 250k. 250k. Damn! And that shit was real. That shit was real. Damn, I'm sure I had to pay that fine. And don't be putting your hands on people's wives and real, people love man. ones, man. For real, you lucky. I- you just <laughs> really had to pay like 250k, boy. <laughs> you trying to hit me for it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, and then, man. so, yeah, so that situation happened. That was on the summer, 2016. So then, come, we got an early bye week. Of course, the Philly on my ass about the shit. I done just got there and all, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you was new to that just, oh, they So like, they on my know. ass, they like, yo, I'll tell you, no lie, bro. We got an early bye week, week four. I hit the bye week. I go out, bro. This is, we go out, like, me and my homie, we go out Saturday, Saturday night. Mm-hmm. So we out, bro. We go out. I think we had like, we gotta be at that time. It had to be like Dream or some shit, or maybe like something Probably like dream. that. Something like that on the beach. Mm-hmm. But I'm fucking out all night, <laughs> man. I got a driver though. Like mm-hmm. that's how I was rolling at the time. I mm-hmm. always had a driver. Right. I had my bags. You know what I'm saying? Correct. We got the Sprinter van. That's what we was on. So we on that, man. I tell you no lie. I always travel with the van, but I always also travel with my guns. Mm-hmm. Um, just being out here, keeping myself safe. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't out here wilding or doing nothing crazy or trying to, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, do nothing crazy, but I'm going to protect myself at all times. We in Florida, fam. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know about any situation, boy, <laughs> remind us. I think about Sean Taylor every day. All right. Every day. All right, peace, Sean Taylor. Straight up. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? And I, I always look at like situations to learn from them. Um, and even that one. So, so this situation is, I went to the club, me and my homie, we got the Sprinter bus, you know what I'm saying? We party all night, you know, down here you party to the morning time, for real. <laughs> so for real? They like when we came home. They like when I come home, but it's Sunday morning, I got a flight to Philly. I got a fight, flight to Philly, right? Go back to work. Got to go to work. So I got my driver at the time, Jimmy. Jimmy the driver, I, I tell him that, yo, just just pick up the family and run us to the run us to the um airport from there. Cause I ain't got no time to get ready. Right. I asked my brother, I said, bro, you grab the straps. It wasn't my brother, brother, but mm-hmm. the guy I was with who was my friend, who I looked at like my brother, you know right. what I'm saying? So I said, you grab the strap. He said, yeah. Drive with him, I him. I even checked. But I checked. Two pockets. I checked the big zipper on the Louis bag. It got three zippers. We got one on the front, a small one, mm-hmm. one above it, and then it got that big one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I checked the the big one and the one like this, but I didn't check the small one mm-hmm. that sit on the front because I normally I put my wallet and shit in there. Right. No fire going there, ain't it? <laughs> Man, I tell you, no lie, bro. I go in that bitch. Throw my stuff on the on the on the um, TSA thing mm-hmm. to go through. I'm chilling. Me and my girl chilling. They got us sitting there for like ten minutes, bro. Mm. I got my son with me too. On top of that, so I'm like, man, I know damn well in my head. I say this, <laughs> y'all. I said, man, I know damn well this dude did not leave that gun in that bag, bro. Mm. Bro. <laughs> Tell you no lie, bro, the gun is sitting in the front, in the front zipper, like the small zipper, just sitting there like, it's a Glock, two Glock 40. No safety, bro. I mean, I ain't, I don't keep them loaded because I got- You fought out of them at Port of Miami. This was my, 
It was in Miami. It was Miami Airport. <sighs> it was Miami Airport. Hey, I know they went crazy. Man. They had, a, they had a panic attack. Bro, how they came? It how how. So I, they had me standing there. I was like, "What, yo? What's taking so long?" Man, that thing I know I seen like ten black suits come up, bro, out of nowhere. Mm. Like, I said, "What?" Instantly, I started just sweating. I'm like, <laughs> Boy, man, what the hell, dog? Oh, like, ain't no way, bro. Not again. Ain't no way, bro. I just got in some shit. Uh, it's bullshit, bro. Uh, Over a fight, that shouldn't even happen for real. You know what I'm saying? Normally, a fight, you just do a bitch ass and keep it moving. Right. Like, y'all want to, you know what I'm saying, throw me under for, for fighting when I was, I had to. But I didn't want to fight. I wouldn't have fought. I just paid the man money. What the fuck am I fighting for? Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like people don't first that's just the media chopped me up so bad with all that shit, bro. Yeah. That I, I couldn't it was hard for me. All I could do was stay quiet about it at the time because Anything it's like illegal. Say. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Any legal, the legal matters at the time, you can't speak on those and whatnot. So I had to take it on the chin, but it made me draw myself away from the media. Yeah. Because right. I was like, yo, no. y'all, every time I do something good, like you see how we was talking about yeah. the one tackle for change and, and, and uh -huh. doing all the stuff with Dick Sporting Goods and the camps and you know what I'm saying? Oh, I had a, a not to mention, I was doing some stuff, uh, children's services in Philly. You know, I had to take care of Philly because right. they were taking care of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. Northern, Northern Liberty is up there. They got children's services. I was taking care of group home over mm -hmm. there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it, I, man, I would encourage you to do some more media too, man, because I, yeah, I, I see everybody say you, you're a little quiet or, or reserved a little bit. That's but what they think. That's what they think, that. but you lit, man. Like, man. I gave them that. Yeah, I man. I gave them that, but you got to yeah. know me to know who I am for real, <laughs> right, man. You, right. you know us, like, think about how you was. Right. You was the same way. Right. Like, we, we I can't give everybody that. Right. Mm -hmm. I give you that, that's too much. You that's feel me? Much. Like, that's. Bro, you like we want to give people that we care about right. that type of energy. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like the energy is real in this room, just so y'all know. That's right. why it's been that's like why that. That's why it's vibing like this. You know what I mean? So, it's only a matter of time. You know what I mean? And that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. So hey, we gonna end like that, man. Nigel Bradham here, man. Sam.